trying to be more than light. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me again. Um, for anybody who doesn't know me, my name is Michelin. It's like, it's really French, okay? It's like, <laughs> the real way to say it, it's Michelin. But like, if you guys are speaking English, it's fine. It's called, you guys can just call me Merlin. Merlin. Even I don't know how to say it, to be honest, so it's fine. Yeah, so today I thought I would do a get ready with me. Um, it's one of those days where honestly, I'm not really supposed to film because um, you guys know I've been struggling with eczema on my face. Um, you guys can see here, like it's really, it's actually kind of irritated. Here also, my both of my eyelids are going back to being irritated because of the temperature. It's really humid lately and it's like getting colder. So my, my skin is actually more dry and my eyes, my eye here is actually swollen right now. So I might not just put any like foundation on my eyelids or something like that. Uh, and also I'm not really leaving the makeup for that long. I'm just doing get ready with me because I want to film a bit of TikTok. Yeah, follow me on TikTok. I'm trying to grow my TikTok. I don't have a lot of followers like at all, but I don't know. I just find that like if there's one platform right now that's actually showing people my content is TikTok, so might as well. Yeah, it's one of those days where my skin is actually irritated. I'm struggling again with my eczema. So I'm not doing like a full face kind of makeup or anything like that, but I am doing like putting a little bit of makeup because yeah, that's what I need right now. Um, talking about makeup tutorials, you guys know you guys probably maybe follow me because I used to do a lot of makeup tutorials or something like that. Um, you guys are probably like seen on my channel. My content is not really makeup tutorial oriented right now because that's why. I want to go back, but I can't. <laughs> I just can't right now. My skin is just bad. And the thing is, even when it was good, the problem that I had was that whatever primer I put on my eyelids, it wouldn't stick. So it was looking crusty, dusty, musty, everything in the above. So it just it just wasn't working well. Uh, what I'm gonna do once this is like getting better, I'm gonna try and film again some makeup tutorials. I love filming makeup tutorials. It's just that it's just that I can right now. My skin is just like I'm just struggling with my skin. I'm just like trying to like move around it but it's like every day i wake up and it's like oh can i do it today no i can't so it's like it just sucks i'm still gonna film for you guys because it's fine i'm just gonna struggle for the next few days that's it <laughs> like i don't go i don't care i don't care at this point anyways i already like moisturized my face and everything i just want to show you guys what i'm using right now as a moisturizer i use the tolerian sensitive riche um from la riche posé um because this cream is actually a miracle worker it's like it's really like soothing on the skin if you have irritated skin it's soothing on my um eczema what i find that like sometimes a lot of times like they say it's soothing but then it irritates my eczema this one doesn't and this is what helped with my discoloration around my eyes you guys probably seen like in my one of my last get ready with me is like my eyes were like all it was this color like it was really pale around my eyes and you guys could see like the demarcation this is what really helped like get my skin back to the way it is right now and how it's supposed to be i'm struggling with a lot of pimples i'm not gonna lie but what you want me to do just the way it is my hair is a mess i'm not gonna lie i want to take off the braids but it's only been like how long has it been Maybe three, four weeks now? And uh, no, actually, I think three weeks for the 20th, 22nd. Yeah, so it's only been three weeks. But the thing is, I'm not like, I'm not taking care of my braids. Like, I'm not putting on a scarf before bed. I'm not like trying to make it last long. And I'm the kind of person, like, if I see my braids are just not the vibe. I'm just gonna take it off but the thing is since i braid my own hair since i braid my own hair and i just i spent like what two days doing my braids um yeah i'm gonna try to make it last even if i'm not taking care of it 
I just want to try and make it last even if it's not it's not giving I've been noticing that like I've been getting more views so I thought like why not do a get ready with me and then tr just try to like get you guys to know me a little bit better and by the way thank you to anyone who watches my videos I really do appreciate it I know I don't talk a lot of my videos why well, I do a lot of voiceovers but I do this because I actually like the interaction that you can get from social media. This is actually why I started YouTube because I love the fact that like you can exchange with people and like try new things and also I love makeup so I'm just gonna do my hair. Yeah like I said I'm just getting ready for, to film some content. I'm not doing anything. I think I'm just gonna do like it's not centered at all. Like, I'm just trying to do, maybe I'll do some, I don't have anything planned, usually I have like a list of things that I, I need to film but today is just like so out of nowhere, kind of up until like 10 minutes ago I didn't know if I wanted to film and then I was like you know what, you don't know when the next time is gonna be that you're gonna be able to film so just sit down and film and if your skin is struggling, it's fine. It's a fine. Is it more centered now? Yeah, I guess. I think I'm just gonna do like a few lip combos. Things like that. If you guys wanna see it first, follow me on TikTok. And I say first because obviously I'm gonna post it on YouTube eventually, but if you guys wanna see it first, follow me on TikTok. But yeah, I guess this is my hair for today. Yeah, okay, let's go with this. So like I said, I already moisturized and I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup just so like I look decent. I think I'm gonna do the same makeup I did in my last, not to say my last get ready with me. Well, actually the TikTok get ready with me. I haven't edited it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna go up before this. So you guys would have seen it. Let's do this primer. I'm gonna do the Fit Me Primer. Honestly, I wish I could listen to some music and just get ready, but I'm here being in. But I'm here. I am here. I really like this primer since I like did my review on it. I never went back. It's so good. I mean, I use other ones sometimes, but this one, it's so good. It's like modifying, but without making your skin dry. And it leaves like some kind of like a really subtle glow on the skin. It's so nice. And it has SPF also. I know it does have SPF. Huh. I thought it had SPF. It smells like SPF. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. See how it looks? My skin looks like already like 10 times better. I just love it. So yeah, like I was saying with my content is that I really want to go back and do makeup tutorials because this is actually what I like to do. This is why I started my channel and everything. Um, this is how I can continue with my creativity and everything. You guys, I don't think there's SPF in this. I thought there was, but like it's not. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm be confused. I'm gonna use a bit of Milk Hydro Grip also, just on top. And just put it in mostly in the center of the face. That's why I need the most gripping products because it does. I do get oily. Yeah. With that being said, um, I actually have a lot of like pictures saved on Instagram, Pinterest because I always get inspired by like whether it's like a color combo or the way a crease is being cut or like a makeup look or whatever um i really want to go back and film some makeup tutorials it's just what i like to do and i'm just pissed that right now i can't do that so i'm just over here that's why you guys are seeing a lot of like hair content and things that i don't really do usually on my channel it's just because i'm still trying to like post content i guess I'm gonna use some Fit Me, uh, Fit Me, Fenty Beauty Skin Tint because why not? I need a bit more coverage than just concealer, so I'm gonna use that. I'm 
I'm not gonna lie. It's hard. It's just hard. I know I'm complaining right now. It's like there's more important things than being able to film or not film. But this is what I do. So I wish I could. But you know. So I'm just gonna buff it in. Just so it gives like a minimal coverage. I'm not trying to like cover everything. I'm just trying to basically like even out my skin. Because... Okay, I have a lot of like pimples. I have a lot of discoloration right now. So I'm just trying to even it out. This foundation is actually a bit too dark for me. Like it's giving me orange vibes because it's too dark for me right now. But that's all I have. So This is the thing that's closest to my skin tone. See what I mean? It's like more even right now. And with concealer and everything else, it'll be good. So yeah, I'm gonna try it. And like once this is like getting like feeling better i'm gonna try and film some makeup looks i don't know if it's gonna work i don't know if i'm gonna be able to like complete one makeup look but i'm gonna try for you guys i'm gonna try it's actually like 3 30 right now in the afternoon on a friday and yeah this is what i'm doing during my makeup I'm just gonna go and do my brows off camera. It doesn't take me long, it's just I don't like editing that part, so I'm just gonna do it <laughs> off camera. I, I fell in my brows. You guys know I don't f like do much with my brows. I'm just gonna like clean them up a little bit with some Fit Me concealer in the shade 50. It's a shade uh, cafe, and it's really the shade cafe. It's not even coffee, it's the cafe. So I'm just gonna clean under my brows here. You guys seen me do my brows before. I think I have a video on that on TikTok or if you guys watch my shorts, it's pretty recent. So it's basically the same way. I just change the product sometimes, but I always use a brow wiz. Um, since the beginning, I've been telling you guys to like follow me on TikTok. It's basically the same name as here. It's Michelin. You guys can probably find me that way or it's um, XO Mimin. If you guys are wondering, and if you want to follow me on Insta, my Insta is MiminXO. It's like the opposite because for some reason it was taken. I'm here, I'm just using my Can't Stop One Stop Concealer in the shade Golden Honey. Yeah, I have a lot of pimples on my forehead. I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's because I'm using a soap that I'm not supposed to, but it's good for my eczema, so I keep using it. So, what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna roll with it. But see, I'm using like a um, a body wash from my, like that's for dry skin on my face. But it's giving me, I think, I'm pretty sure that's what's giving me like a lot of like small pimples on my face. But I mean, it's a small price to pay to have my eczema like being under control right now. I'm just gonna use a expert concealer brush by Real Techniques. I love that brush, it's really good. I like just blend my concealer. I think today is the first day of fall. Like how's the temperature in your, like where are you guys at? Like here it's still pretty like sunny. It's still pretty like the wind is still pretty warm and everything. It's actually like pretty nice still here. Just at night it gets really cold. Well, cold, colder, and the wind's like colder and everything. It's like chilly at night. So when I wake up in the morning, it's like I need another layer. So like it kind of kind of wakes me up a little bit because it's so like chilly like in the morning. Um, yeah. But I actually like this temperature. It's not that like I don't like summer. It's just like I prefer it. I'm someone that like doesn't do well in the heat. Um, like for me, a perfect summer day is like basically like maybe 27, 28 Celsius, by the way. I'm Canadian. And um, just like windy, not too hot. It's a perfect summer day. I don't like it when it's like 30 here, especially here because where I'm at, it's like, where it's, when it's really hot, it gets really humid. So it's like, you can't breathe, you're sticky and everything. So when it's like 27, it has a nice breeze, but it's still like really sunny. It's like perfect. It's perfection. I don't think I'm gonna be able to cover this. Well, I can cover it, but you'll see the texture. 
I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Maybe a little bit, like right here. It's like pretty red. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put anything on my eyelids. I know it's gonna look crazy because it's actually like pretty red also, but I don't wanna irritate my skin even more. As much as I love you guys. I'm gonna try not to edit this video too much so you guys have a long video to watch. I love watching like super long Get Ready With Me. So if you guys are into that, you guys are gonna love or like this video. If you guys hear a noise outside, my neighbor is one annoying person. It's always doing something outside, like always. And he's like, he blasts his music as if like, he's like in a forest somewhere and there's, like, there's no, nobody around him. See what I mean? Here too, I have like a eczema. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like, the skin is like peeling and shit. So my cons- so basically this is what it does on my eyelid. So the skin will peel like this. And it's like, I can't do a makeup look while I look like this. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm just not. <sighs> look at my eyelids. I'm just gonna set my brows with the brow glue. It's a good brow glue, but I have to admit that like the Anastasia is better. It just stays put longer sorry i'm missing my words it just stays put longer like i find that like the um, this one it kind of moves a little bit after a few hours and i don't like that i mean it's not i don't like that it's not the end of the world it's just like when i'm used to like it not moving and actually like staying put all day and then i use something that's like less i'm just like what is this? But it's still pretty good. It's not like it's like rubbish or anything. It's like she's still pretty, pretty damn good. And also I don't leave my makeup for that long these days when I do do my makeup, so it's fine. I feel like this brow is like, I think it's the bandana. It's making my eyes look like this. I'm just gonna bronze my face a little bit. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty. Sunstalker. I use the shade Coconati. See, it looks like this. Um, I have the Bobbi Brown also, but I'm really pale right now, so I use this one. You guys know I don't go under the sun anymore, so I'm looking pale. So yeah, I do bronze before I set my concealer, just because with the powder I kind of like I kind of diffuse the bronzer a little bit. What can we talk about? What are you guys watching right now? Like TV shows, movies. What are you guys watching right now? I want to know. It's not that uh, it's not that I don't have anything to watch right now. I actually have like a long list within all of my platforms that I have. Like I have Netflix. I have. If you're Canadian, I have like Crave. You guys would know what Crave is. It's like the Canadian platform. It's actually pretty good. They have like good TV shows like old and new they have like hbo on this for like canadian people i guess yeah what are you guys watching right now i feel like i need a new show like i don't mind like i have a lot of shows that i watch and rewatch. there's always a new season of something but it's like i need something new because lately going back to my old shows i feel like it's like it's almost like homework you know it's not that I don't enjoy the show because once I start watching it, I'm like, oh yeah, this happened, oh yeah, that happened. But sometimes I just want something new, you know? I just want something different and new and like exciting because you don't know what's gonna happen. Sometimes you, you feel like you, you already know what's gonna happen because it's an old show. So what are you guys watching? That's what I wanna know. Um, right now, I'm watching The Witcher season three. It's good, don't get me wrong, it's good. I enjoy the show. I know some people don't because they say it's not like exactly like, I think it's a video game or something, but it is enjoyable. If you don't know anything about The Witcher, it is good, it is enjoyable. It's just that every time I start watching it, I feel like I don't know what's going on. 
because it's not because like the seasons come like every like year like i'm good with that but it's like i'm watching it right now and i know what's going on and everything but the second the show the like season is over i'm just like and i try to go back i'm like for the first two three episodes i'm just like what's going on like, i don't remember anything it's only the witcher usually i don't have this problem with other shows that i watch like every year like i wait for a new season but for some reason the witcher it's just like it's not sticking in my head i don't know why it's actually really annoying i just don't know why it's just fucking weird so yeah obviously i'm just watching the witcher and it's just like it's good i'm on episode like season three episode five or something but i think it's a kind of show that like i should have waited and just binge it I feel like sometimes there's shows like this that you can't just like go in and wait for every season. You actually have to binge it. I don't know if it's because in my head I think it's because there's too many like characters. It's like it's not that I can't keep up, it's just that like there's too many characters, so many things are happening at the same time, and it's just like where are we going with this? But the one thing that I do love about the show is like the pace of the show. That's one thing that I didn't like about Game of Thrones, which by the way I never finished. <laughs> want to know i never finished it because i was getting annoyed like the pace of the show was just like too slow for my liking and it's so bad because the show is actually really good when it was good it was really good but when it was slow it was slow and it was like blah 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 so like i never i think i stopped at season five or something i just it's just too bad maybe i'll go back but right now i'm just like I don't see why I'll go back, especially when people are like saying that like, the last season was such shit and everything. So I'm a bit like, why, why would I go back? By the way, I'm using my NYX Can Stop One Stop setting powder in a banana. I love this setting powder. It's so good. I don't hear anybody using it. It's really good. I love it. Yeah, let's go back to The Witcher. I don't know if it's because there's so many characters. I don't know if it's because... I don't know what it is, but like, I'm just... I just feel like I'm always like trying to figure out and the story is not like hard to remember or anything like that it's just that I don't I never remember who wants what and what what they're here for I know the whole like global thing but like I feel like I'm missing something but then after that I talked to my sister and she's like no that's what's happening and I'm like oh that's it and I'm like yeah she's like yeah that's it and I'm like oh, okay I thought it was more like complicated than this because it's like it's like they're trying to make it like super complicated but like it's not so i'm just like oh, cool. maybe it is not i don't know i have to charge my laptop yeah so right now i'm watching the witcher i'm almost done i'm on episode five we'll see what happens i don't know what's gonna happen um and i know it's the last season with henry cavill <laughs> listen i, I actually like liam Nees uh liam neeson <laughs> Liam Hemsworth it's just that you know in comparison and also like when you start with one actor you don't want to like change I remember like I used to watch Spartacus like I'm, I'm really sad the guy died but like it just wasn't the same it just wasn't the same so I know it won't be the same as much as like I'm sure the show will still be good entertaining I don't know how I just don't know <laughs> i'm being so dramatic but like i don't know i actually want to like kind of stop watching not because of that i actually want to kind of stop watching just so like i can like kind of binge again because i feel like it will be better if i binge it i just feel it i just know you know when you know you know and i feel like if i just binge it it will just be better that's really what i think what other show that i'm watching i finally watch interstellar like 10 years later it was really good like it was really good i don't know what to say about it the only thing is like, i will say about it it kind of scared me a lot because i have like a fear of the unknown and to me like the oceans and like space it's like so unknown it's just like one vast thing of like nothing so that movie freaked me out but it was just like also like time I have like a fear of time and like the fact that we're getting older and everything so for me like this movie was like one horror movie waiting to happen but like i enjoyed the movie it was really good i love watching also like i love watching shows from other countries 
one thing i will say is that like what i love about netflix they have a lot of shows from like different countries which is like really good uh because coming from an era from like like my era basically it's like when we used to watch tv we had cable right but we didn't like in my house we didn't have like satellite to have like shows from other countries so it was really like americanized or canadian or like quebecer so it was just like a lot of french shit we would just watch and it was good but it was just like it didn't broaden your horizon right it didn't like bring you other cultures and everything like that so that's what i love about netflix i get to watch like japanese shows i get to watch like turkish shows let me talk to you about turkish shows they're really good they are really good. I have to admit that like I prefer Turkish shows that are not on Netflix because they bring more culture into their shows. Um, I'm not saying that they're not good on Netflix, just I ju it's just a preference. Um, but oh my god, Turkish shows will have you on a chuckle. Like they're so good. Like the drama, I watched two, three, three or four shows so far. I watched two romantic comedies and I watched one that was just like mostly drama. The drama, the drama they bring and like every episode is like two hours to two hours and a half and you don't have time to like breathe basically and it's like how do they come up with all of this all the time? It's like a show of two hours. You guys can find some on YouTube. You guys can find some on YouTube now and also now like before I didn't translate it so you get some like uh, subtitles now sometimes they, they have some channels that do subtitles it's just that sometimes they start with subtitles and then they stop and also now that they're trying to break it down like 45 minute episodes so it's like easier for us to like find to like watch like for us who doesn't speak turkish but if you guys have time watch some turkish shows they're amazing but i will tell you right now once you start, you're not gonna stop and it's gonna take all over your life. That's all I'm gonna say. It's just gonna take all over your life because the way that like, I, that's all I did was crazy. Am I gonna do my eyes? Am I doing my eyes? Yeah, I'm gonna, actually let me put some mascara on here right now. I'm just using the Sky High Mascara by Maybelline. Yeah, Turkish shows are amazing. What I love on Netflix right now, I watch a lot of Korean shows. Really good. If you guys can like go into a Korean like era for you guys, go ahead. They do amazing shows and they do also like good movies. I watch, every time there's a new one, I watch one. I like, I watch it, I don't care. Um, as long as like the trailer is interesting, obviously. Obviously K-dramas are good, but if you guys can watch like like action movies, action shows, like dark ones also, they're really good. I can't really think of the names on top of my head right now. If you guys want to know, just comment down below and I'll answer you guys. If you guys want to watch like the same shows that I'm watching, just let me know down below and I'll let you guys know. A little research and trying to find names. Mine is really swollen. So yeah, I love Korean shows. What else? Obviously, I love my Spanish shows, whether it's European or Latin American. They're really good. Like Mexican shows, so good. Like them too. Like they know how to do like a good telenovela, like drama and everything. They're so good. They're spicy, but they're really good. <laughs> and that's where you see like a difference in culture, the way they do like romance. The way they do action movies, the way they do drama, it's like so different from countries to countries. And it's just amazing. I love it. I'm back into learning Spanish. Well, back. I took like, in school, I took like two years. I took one year in high school. And then I took, I think one year post high school of Spanish so I know my basic I know like most of the words obviously I don't speak Spanish don't try and like like I can kind of read and like try to understand I just say like I'm at like maybe 40% <laughs> like I can kind of like understand the context sometimes if somebody talks to me but um, I don't speak Spanish that's why I'm trying to like watch shows in Spanish now without subtitles and sometimes I understand like I I went back and like watch um sorry. I went back and watched some like 
TV shows that I used to watch when I was a kid. So I gotta know what's going on. And I basically put them in Spanish without subtitles. And I kind of understand. I mean, obviously, like, I remember what happened, but I kind of understand. So I understand the words. So yeah, I'm trying to like go back into my learning Spanish. It's not hard. I find it's like with the base that I have because I speak French and I speak English. <laughs> English. I speak French and I speak English and I understand Creole. And I could speak Creole, but I don't. I just don't because I never did. So it's kind of like a repressed thing on my part, but you know. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna powder with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. So I feel like sometimes when you you understand French, English, and like Creole, but if you want to learn like some languages, make it easier. And I think that Spanish is one of those languages because they're actually like pretty similar. It's like when you speak, um, it's like when you know French and then somebody speak Creole to you, a lot of words are like like the same basically. It's like it's so easy. It's not super easy, but it is easier to understand, you know? So, how many languages do you guys speak or understand? I know it's like, some people will say like, what do you mean understand? Like, sometimes somebody can talk to me in a language and I'll be like, yeah, I understand fully. Like, for me, like, my first language is French, right? So when I learned English, I understood English for the most part. But for me to like sit down and talk to someone in English, it was a struggle in the beginning. But the more you do it, the better you get. And uh, yeah, you, you, you kind of have to immerse yourself in the language and like learn the language, right? So this is what happened with me. Um, English was actually pretty... It's pretty easy to understand. I will say that like it's easier to understand, like to go from French to English it is to go from English to French I will say that sometimes I see some people struggling and I feel bad <laughs> I feel bad because it's not it's not it's not easy it's really not easy I'm gonna do a little bit of blush just let me know down below what how many languages do you guys speak um I think I'm gonna do emulate and provocative I'm really in the sun right now I'm gonna try to move Hey guys, go here. It's worst. <laughs> Is that better? I feel like it's better. I'm sorry. I'm like right in front of the window and it's like when the sun comes in. Let me know how many languages do you guys speak. I want to know. You know, like sometimes people like make fun of you for not knowing a lot of languages, but I want you guys to keep in mind that like knowing more than one language is a flex and you should be proud of it. I just put blush everywhere. You guys probably notice from my videos. I have to shave my face. I just put blush everywhere. Um, I don't think I want to put lashes just because. It's cute. It's cute. Yeah, I know this video is all over the place because <laughs> that's how I am. You guys probably don't know that, but like I'm all over the place. When I talk, I just talk and it's just like, I'm not a big talker. I'm actually like a really shy person. And that's probably why like i don't talk a lot of my videos usually but when i start talking it's like it's not that i can shut up it's just that all of my ideas kind of like scramble into my head and i'm trying to like get it all out all at once i'm just putting a bit of highlight this is the master chrome by maybelline which i still love i put highlight like here because i feel like this this is where the sun hits me let me show you like when i turn my head like this this is where the light hits me the most not here like really here and i put some on my nose and whatever is left i go under the bra like this it's like that i'm not gonna lie it's itchy but it's fine so yeah like i was saying i love japanese shows i love anime i don't watch a lot of anime but i do like it I have a love-hate relationship with animes. When I watch one, I try to make sure that like it's really good because I just hate how like it's so slow. It's just so slow. Like it just pisses me off. It's so slow. And also now there's a trend that like I feel like usually like before, like maybe in the 90s, early 2000s, when you had a season of anime, it used to have like 20, 24 episodes. Now there's only like 12. So it's like, at least like, I feel like it's, it goes faster, but not all of them go faster. Some of them are just, just 
are just as slow and just like, can we get more? I want more. Give me more. And also the fact that it takes like sometimes two years before we get like an update, like a new season. So it's just like, like I don't watch a lot of animes, but every time I watch one, I love them. So like the ones that I just saw was Chainsaw Man. It was really good. It was really good. Everybody said it was good, but you know, like you never know. Maybe you might not like it, but <laughs> it was good. It took a little time for at the beginning. I find that like it took like maybe like the fifth or sixth episode. That's when I finally felt like it was starting. Because before like it was funny, it was witty, it was like fun and everything. It wasn't boring. It's just like they failed to like show what the story was. It was kind of stupid also. I do like anime. It's just, I hate how slow it is all the time. Like, I watched Naruto, like... Naruto started when I was in high school. And I think it finished in, like, 2017. So I finally watched it, like... I think in 2020? 2021? 2021? Or 2020? Something like that. And oh my god was it long but yeah it was good it was really good but like sometimes i look back and i'm like was i really gonna wait every week for a new episode for like 15 years no like no like <laughs> i know people do that but like i can't like i get it's not that like the shows are not good but at a certain point it's like you stop watching because Especially not at all because there was like a lot of filler episodes and like you felt like this the story wasn't progressing So it was just like where are we going with this? You know? So yeah, if you guys watch any Anime, let me know. I want to know what you guys are watching My skin is peeling, my skin is doing this and that I'm fed up Sometimes you don't realize how your skin is weird until... Somebody's here. Oh my god. Sorry about that. There was someone on my door. Like selling chocolate from door to door. I didn't know they still did that. I don't mind. Usually I try to help them if I have change on me. It's just that like, I wasn't expecting that. I'm a bit like, what? <laughs> Whatever. She was nice, so it's just something I get iffy because I'm like, she's like, it's for if it's for children and everything, and I'm like, is it really like? I don't mind giving away money. It's just I want to know that like my money is actually going to like people in need. You know what were we talking about? Okay, you know what? I don't remember what we were talking about. So just leave it like this. That's enough. I'm doing. I'm just doing beauty marks. I love doing beauty marks, but I just don't want to go overboard. I want it to look like natural. <laughs> if I know it's not. I'm in the sun again. I'm really sorry. I don't playing around right now, going all over the place. But I don't have a choice. Should I do lashes or not? No matter if I decide to do lashes, you guys will see it on my TikTok. But for now, I'm not. Um, I'm just gonna do my lips and basically I'm done. I know this get ready with me was all over the place. I'm just like talking about one thing and then going to one other thing. But like I said, this is how I am. I'm weird like that. It's just like blah, blah, blah all the time. So this is what we're dealing with. Do I want gloss or gloss? Let's just do a bit of gloss just for the sake of the video so I can like remove it easily. I'll say that I clean up nice. <laughs> I felt like shit this morning. But my skin is just so dry and so irritated and so like everything. Sometimes it just like, ugh, what is this? And also my hair, I'm not really feeling my hair anymore. I'm at a phase where I, like, I wanna change my hair every week, but I don't like doing my hair and that's why I have braids on right now because I hate doing my hair. I like waking up and my hair is done, you know? So it's like, what are we doing? Anyways, I'm using Colourpop Lippy Pencil in the shade Control. You guys know this is like my favorite. I 
let me know down below what you guys want to see more on my channel like i said i'm gonna try and do more makeup tutorials because that's actually what i like to do so <laughs> what is this <laughs> looking back i'm happy i sat down film i'm enjoying this nyx butter lip gloss in the shade tiramisu i'm looking for one that's like beige because i have a lot of pink and like orangey one but i'm looking for one that's like beige like brown not actually not brown like really like beigey nude i feel like i don't have enough glosses like this i have a lot of like pink glosses not the kind of gloss like, like when you have a nude lip you can just add on and make it like a bit lighter this is what i want i actually have like a lot of videos to edit which i'm not doing <laughs> and i'm filming i was supposed to edit last night but i didn't want to i'm supposed to edit like i have a get ready with me for tiktok like shorts whatever you want to call it i'm supposed to be editing but i don't know why i can't i'm just adding a bit more powder to kind of like make sure my face is set so yeah, my skin is actually like struggling right now, but if I can look decent for like an hour or two, I'm gonna take it. So you guys, this is it. I am ready. I'm not gonna take this off because my hair is disgusting and I have red nails. You guys probably noticed by now, but I have red nails. I feel like everybody has red nails on social media right now. So I was like, I want red nails. Um, I don't really like this red. It's a bit too like orangey for my liking, especially on camera right now. It's like really bright. I actually prefer like a wine kind of red, which I have. It's just I wanted like red, red nails for a few weeks. Well, for a few weeks, maybe like ten days, and then I'm gonna switch to the other one. But yeah, this is basically it for today. Um, this is like my everyday makeup at this point, except the lip might switch or change but yeah it was nice talking to you guys I'm actually happy that i sat down and film sometimes i feel like i just need to talk to someone and you guys are it so to everybody who's like uh, new i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i like to complain a lot but i swear i'm not i'm not like that I just i just talk you know i just i just like talking I, actually i don't like talking <laughs> this is a fucking lie I don't like to talk but i'm just like i actually wanted to talk today and just sit down and talk a little bit and talk to you guys because i feel like i don't do it enough on my channel so if i have the opportunity to do it then i'm gonna sit down and do it and today i had time and i had the opportunity and i could do it so i was like you know what let's do it i guess what we noticed in my channel like i try to do like i'll post a full length videos and then do two shorts i do it that way so that like I make sure that I still do full length videos because doing TikToks and doing like shorts and like short videos is so easy but it's also so easy to lose yourself and like just do TikTok basically just that I started with YouTube and I don't want to lose YouTube so like I don't want to only upload like shorts I want to do like full length videos so you guys get to know me you guys get to understand who I am and you guys get to see like my content and explain not just like those like five minute videos like super quick i think you guys deserve it if you guys sit down and actually listen to what i have to say so like yeah i want to like bring more make sure i bring content that's more like has a lot of content in it basically so that's why i do it that way that way like it forces me to like make videos and not just do like tiktoks and shorts and like really like fast videos that like i call them easy to do they're not like they're easier, but like you still have to sit down and create and them, right? And edit them and everything. So you guys, I'm gonna try and stay consistent. So right now I'm gonna close the camera. I'm gonna get off the camera. I'm gonna like film some lip combos for TikTok. And I guess I'll see you next time. So thank you to everybody who listened to me. Thank you to everybody who watched my videos. Thank you to everybody to like comment down below. And Thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy the content and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye.